Hey yo, what is up my subscribers and my whisker gang? And in today's video, I want to clear up a lot about Fischl because everybody in the comment section was like, where's the free Fischl, where's the free Fischl, this, that, and the third. And I just want to make this video to tell you the exact date and everything you need to know and have to have in order to do this event. So, before we get into this video though, I just want to let you know if you're new to the channel, Go ahead and join the Whisker Gang on the grind to 1k. We are 30 subscribers away from hitting that mark. And once we hit that mark, big things are coming. It's going to be, it's not going to be bigger than 1.1 update. But it's going to be big things coming, guys. And y'all go ahead and join the Whisker, Whiskrivers and Whisker Gang today. Join the Whisker family. We all welcome you and we love you. So thank you for watching and thank you for supporting always. Okay? And also drop a like down below. You're going to enjoy this content. So anyway, let's get into this video. Okay, so as you can see, shout out to Neptune. Y'all already know. Um... Right here, it's the unreconciled stars, right? So, a strange meteorite descended on Teva, bringing with uh, a mysterious lethargic element, eternal sleeps, sibylline uh, dreams, and unknown stars. The crisis materializes. Eligibility. You have to be adventuring 20 or above to complete the quest Unknown Star, which grants you a free official. Now, y'all are probably saying, when is this? Guys, I'm just going to get right to the point. This is on the 16th of November. It is actually in a couple of days because, yeah, so it's the 14th day. So we have two more days and we're finally getting this event. And all you need to do is be above AR20 and you are set to go. You can get your free official, one of the best DPSs in the game, right? She's also a really, really good support. I really would love to go over this unit. I'm probably going to go over this unit in this video. It's probably going to be a little later. I'm going to have timestamps in this video so that you can know where everything is. It also says there's going to be an event shop, which will be uh, launched when this event is launched, right? Where you can either play single player or co-op to get Fading Star Essence. I guess you can exchange your Fading Star Essence inside the shop and uh, probably get the official or get more items. Oh yeah. I th I'm pretty sure it's gra it grants not only that, but ascension materials, and let me actually go to the post. So yeah, so the official event officially is announced in the game. During the event, you can get official along with primal gems, character, and weapon EXP, ascensions, and talent materials, and many more. Resin consumption is required for some of the rewards. So it's officially basically in the game because you know it's, it's coming in two days literally so everybody just needs to get ready you, you gotta have your resin ready and whatnot this is gonna be very worth because it's probably gonna be a lot uh, and I mean a lot of character and weapon exp as well as ascension and talent materials that are just up for grabs unlike waiting for like a week to get some type of talent um materials or ascension materials you just could go right in right now on this event not right now but you know when it's the 16th, you can go right in and then just get all of what you need. So I feel like definitely, definitely this event is a must do. Not only because Fischl is free and she's one of the best units in the game. SS tier 4 star character that should be a 5 star. But because you're getting character and weapon EXP as well as ascension and talent materials and many more things. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the Genshin fandom where we're going to be talking about... Um, we're going to be talking about the best SS tier 4 star official, right? So, as you can see, we have our normal attacks. She has the basic normal attack. She's a bow user, of course. And she has her elemental skill, which summons Oz, the Night Raven, Forged from Darkness, blah, blah, blah. And it descends, literally, an Electro Eagle that descends down, and or Electro Raven that descends down and literally deals Electro AoE damage, right? Now, this is good because... It depends on how how far you have it leveled up and how good this is because like for the abilities duration Oz will continuously attack nearby enemies with frequent yield. Um, hold to adjust Oz location. Press again during the abilities duration to once again summon him. So like you could summon him and then say for example you have to run from that area you go to another area. You can re-summon him right there but then it will have a cooldown. So and now we have our elemental burst which is Mid Midnight Phantasmo Phantasmogria. Okay? I tried my best guys. Summons Oz to spread his wings, his twin wings and twilight and basically official becomes Oz, like a big bird and you fly around and deal tons of um, electro damage and you're also getting increased movement speed and yeah, so that's really about it for that and also once the ability is done, once you are done, you will turn back into official and you will drop a Knight Rider which is our elemental skill and then it will remain on the field, right? And it will destroy like a lot because of the electro damage. So right here we have our passive talent one. 
When Fischl hits Oz with a fully charged aim shot, Oz brings down Thundering Retribution, dealing AoE damage equal to 152.7% of the arrow's damage. So this is going to do a lot of damage, as you can see, if you hit the um, elemental skill once you activate it, right? And also, we have her passive talent too, which is the lightning smite. If you act, if you, if your active character triggers an electro-related elemental reaction when Oz is on field, the element, I mean, the enemy shall be stricken with thundering retribution, dealing electro damage equal to 80% of official's attack. So the higher official attack is, right? The higher you have official's attack, say for example, you want to use her as a support, or you could just use her as DPS. It's up to you, but say for example, you have, um, you have the loop, and you want to look as your main DPS, you use your official, you use your Knight Rider, your elemental skill, drop that out, you have the passive talent too. Now, once you cause any type of electro-related elemental reaction, meaning pyro combined with electro, that is an electro-related elemental reaction, that will give, not only will it give the damage for overload, it will also give the plus 80% damage official's attack, which makes her a really, really good support for attack, but also she's a really, really good DPS as well. So how you build her is up to you. I just wanted to go over the unit and whatnot, and also her passive talent three, which is not irrelevant, but at the same time, it's not like for fighting. It's basically when dispatched on Expedi uh, Expedition in Mondstadt, the time consumed is reduced by 25%, which is really good. So that's really good for like, if you wanna farm your uh, crystals and your iron and whatnot. So that's, that's really good. So that's really about it for this official, right? So there's gonna be a lot we're gonna have. Like I said, we're gonna get a lot in this. We're gonna get character, uh, the, the character, which is official. We're also gonna get weapon EXP and character EXP. Also ascension and talent materials and many more things. It will require some, uh, some resin to be consumed during this event for some rewards, but hopefully it's not like a, a vast amount. Like, um, last time, remember when we had that event, I forgot what the event was called, but you could basically go in, it was a little pole, and had a little light-up thing, you had to kill everything in there, get the orbs, and put it inside. That required resin, and you only got, like, 33, what, like, 33 red books for it? And it cost, like, what, 30, I mean, 20 resin, or was it 40? I think it was 20 resin. So it was, like, pretty, it was pretty steep, but, like, uh, hopefully that it doesn't cost too much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or, I mean, it could cost too much if it's worth it, like, literally worth, like, if I'm gaining a lot more than I'm, uh, risking, you know? So, that for sure is up to question. We will see about that with the resin consumption required for this event. Um, but also, I wanted to talk about this as well. There's two things I want to talk about in this video. It's 1.2. So, as you all know, we just got 1.1, but basically... Hold up one second, actually. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you do know, on version 1.1, it is expected to be update, updated on December 23rd of this year, of 2020, guys. So after November, on December 23rd, we should be getting uh, 1.2. During this version, the Longji Snow Mountain area and related version activities will be open. So we'll have, we're going to have a lot of content. And relating to these characters, guys, see these are one of two of the many characters that we're probably going to get for 1.2 and also right here it says that they're assuming uh neptune is assuming that the ayaka banner will probably be in 1.3 but i don't know i feel like it's going to be in 1.2 with the snow mountain i really but you never know we're gonna see i just uh, i expected that um ayaka would definitely like why would she appear when Xiao appears in 1.3 on the lantern festival or yeah i'm pretty sure that's that's when um so 1.3 is expected to be february during this is sea lantern festival so i i can't expect her to show up with the sea lantern festival but she probably will <laughs> somehow some way she probably will so for sure i guess keep an eye out for that but for 1.2 uh, these characters are basically these are a speculation so yeah take these with a grain of salt before i just go all in these are speculation. We don't have much information on Albedo, but we do have some information on Ganyu. And if you do know, Ganyu has made an appearance in the game. I remember when I first seen this character and I was like, yo, that character needs to be a in-game playable character. Like 100% because she was, she was, uh, when I was playing story mode, I'd seen her and she was talking and whatnot. And I was like, yo, she is sick. So what she is, is she is a cryo element 100%, but the weapon probably does vary because it could be catalyst or bow we don't know officially you got to take this with a hint of salt so it's probably going to be catalyst or bow and also we have her skills in normal attack so we have the normal uh normal attack from six consecutive shots with bow or if it's catalyst you know how that goes 
And if you charge, you perform a more precise shot, increase damage while aiming. The icy ore will accumulate around the arrowhead before the arrow is fired. It has different effects based on how long the energy has been charged. Charge level 1 fires off an icy blow that deals cryo damage. Charge level 2 fires off a frost flace arrow that deals cryo damage. The frost flace arrow blooms after hitting its target dealing AoE cryo damage. So that, like I said, you have to take the hands off, but if this is with bow, that's pretty cool. So we have our elemental skill right here, which is Trail of the uh, Keelin, which is, if you don't know, I can also show you our constellation, which guarantees that Trail of the Keelin is actually your elemental skill. So as you can see right here, these are our constellations right here, all these. I will stop so you can read these because I don't want to read them all to you, but right here it says Trail of Keelin gains one additional charge. So uh, as you can see, this character 100% does have that as our elemental skill, so we will go over that and continue to finish it. So, on our elemental skill, skill Troll of the Keelan, um, leaving a single Ice Lotus behind, Ganyu dashes backward, shunning all impurity and dealing cryo damage. Ice Lotus continuously taunts surrounding enemies, attracting them to attack it. Endurance scales based off of Ganyu's max HP, bloom profusely when destroyed or once its duration ends, dealing AoE crowd damage. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it sounds a little bit like Amber. Where she throws that little, go bunny! And then next thing you know, everything just going towards that bunny and that bunny says, Woo! So, <laughs> that's a little bit similar to Amber, but we're not going to talk about it, I guess. And it scales off of Ganyu's max HP, so she's going to need HP stat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting, right? And then we have our Elemental Burst, which is Koei... We don't have the percentages, guys. I'm sorry, by the way. Um, Elemental Burst, which is Koelisis... Koel... Pieces, atmospheric frost and snow to summon an ice soul gem that exercises evil during its ability duration the ice soul gem will continuously rain down shards of ice striking enemies within an aoe and dealing cryo damage yo this is literally amber as a cryo user and five star user so guys i i don't know what to say about this it, hopefully it looks different you know like hopefully it does more damage hopefully it, you know pops off but basically, yeah, this is this is it about this character. And like I said, for our boy Albedo, we don't have too much information, but we do know that he is most likely going to be a Geo. So that's going to be definitely something to look forward to. It's gonna be a Geo character as well as Ganyu, which is going to be a Cryo character. It's gonna be interesting. Both five star units, but we're not gonna know too much like about them right now because you know it's really just like a speculation. So we don't have official information. This is all to be taken with a hit of salt. So that's really cool though to have these two units show up because I really, I really like how I like her uh, character design. I like how she looks. And when I seen her um, in story mode, I really wanted her in game. But uh, Albedo, I've never seen, but he is of the Favonius. He is the chief alchemist and captain of the investigation team of the Knights of Favonius. So that's really cool to know. Um, I think that's really actually about it. And also, we are to be getting a area as well, which is, as you can see, there will be many new dungeons in 1.2, which will be dragon, the Dragon Spine area. So there's going to be a lot. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of information to take in because 1.2 is going to have a lot, just like 1.1 had. 1.1 still has a lot. We haven't even got everything for 1.1. So there's going to be a lot to uh, soak in in 1.2. Because there's just so much. So we're getting the Dragon Spine area, which is cool. We're getting a new area, and we're getting, as you can see, a lot of little dungeons, and as well as teleport points, which are good EXP, baby! And also, this is not confirmed, but this I just want to say this since this relates to the Dragon Spine area. Mondo's Albedo Alchemist Genie weapon is the one-handed sword, not a bow. Not confirmed, as you can see. Not confirmed, just letting you know. This is to put up assumptions to put up thoughts and whatnot in the community i don't want to like be like yeah this is confirmed this is not confirmed okay guys so it's not it's not saying it's confirmed but it says his uh weapon is a one-handed sword not a bow image is albedo's exclusive weapon other characters can be used but when albedo is attached the extra buff is valid for the whole team in the dragon spine area so basically there's gonna be a lot so in dragon spine there's going to be an extra buff you have on this sword if this is true for albedo if you have this sword on albedo there will be an extra buff you have once you have this sword equipped to albedo in the dragon spine area which i just showed you guys the dragon spine area is basically this place right here right so like i said we we have a lot to look forward to i'm not gonna take too long but like 
this is a lot. This is a lot to take in and whatnot. I just wanted to explain some of 1.2 as well as when this official is coming, guys. But that's really about it for this video. I'm not going to go into too much detail on everything. Just know that in 1.2, we have a lot of content. I'm probably going to make another video about 1.2 because there's even more to say about it. But, but that, that, that's about it for this video. Without further ado, I end this. I am done. Okay? <laughs> so, thank you for everybody who came out to watch this video. I hope this video helped you. I hope this... All those people that were asking when official is coming, y'all got the guaranteed date. I literally stated at the, uh, the beginning of the video. So I hope this video helps you. So guys, if it did help you, go ahead and drop a subscribe down below. Join the subscribers on the grind in 1K. We only need 30 subscribers to hit that goal, baby. And we are popping off. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for all the support. And also, um, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Join the subscribers on the grind, guys. All right? So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.